These days, mobile cameras are more sophisticated than they've ever been and far more capable than your average point and shoot. The finest cameras in phones are combined with intricate optics and sensors with software algorithms that rely upon math and science to extract the best possible light, color, and detail out of every scenario. It's not just about the number of lenses on the back either. Some phone makers are even leveraging artificial intelligence to make their post-processing even better. All this is to say there's much more that goes into a great smartphone camera than a nice lens and a high megapixel sensor. With that in mind, and after hours of research, I've rounded up this list of the best camera phones that you can buy in 2020. So you've only got 15,000 pesos to spend on the phone. Historically, at that price, camera performance has been always one of those things that falls by the wayside. But the Moto G Power actually takes better photos than budget tags would suggest. Motorola has outfitted its super long-lasting cheap handset with a trio of optics, a 12 megapixel wide lens, a 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel sensor designed for macro shots. While the macro's usefulness is questionable, those two lenses turn out respectable results with real realistic color balancing and serviceable detail. Motorola even offers some creative modes for your troubles like cinema graph for partial motion GIFs and spot color for the price you can't really do better. You'll notice a 4 lens stack on the back of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G. While many flagship phones pack a quartet of lenses these days, this particular grouping is different. That's because in addition to a 108 megapixel main sensor, the Mi 10 Pro 5G touts two telephoto lenses. One is optimized for 10 times lossless zoom shots, while the other cuts in not quite as close for shallow depth of field portraits. As a result, you get the best of both worlds. Fantastic zoom power that can highlight distant details with greater ease than rival phones. The focal length just for elegant portraits. But the Mi 10 Pro 5G is even more versatile than that as it also carries an ultra-wide camera for landscape that happens to double as a macro shooter with the ability to capture remarkable detail normally unseen by the naked eye. All in all, it's a stunning camera phone and a great phone in general. The new 25,000 pesos iPhone SE packs the iPhone 8's 12 megapixel f1.8 single lens camera but also benefits from Cupertino's latest and greatest processor, the A13 Bionic chipset, to kick its comp computational photography power into high gear. The result will speak for itself, although the Pixel 4a has an advantage when it comes to nighttime photography as well as shallow depth of field, portraits, and digital zoom. That said, the iPhone SE is nearly as capable in many scenarios as it benefits from many of Apple's sophisticated imaging techniques like smart HDR and semantic rendering. Being that it lacks ultrawide or telephoto lenses, it's not perfect of course, though alongside the Google phone, its camera is far and away better than those inside the vast majority of other similarly priced models you can buy today. Overall, you need a new handset and don't have much to spend, and especially if it has to be an iPhone, there's simply no better deal out there right now now. One look of the Pixel for a spec sheet and you might be underwhelmed by its 12 2 megapixel f1.7 aperture rear camera. There's only one lens on the back of the device which pales in comparison to say the quartet of the optics of the back of the OnePlus Nord. The difference is that the Pixel 4, the difference is that the Pixel's one lens benefits from all of Google's imaging know-how from night sight to super res zoom and live HDR+. The result isn't just the best cheap camera phone ever one of the best camera phones overall because it does nearly everything the Pixel 5 can do for less than half the price. And because there is 128 gigs of storage, you'll have a ton of space for photos and videos compared to what you get from most budget phones. Pixel 4a can even pull off some tricks the iPhone SE can. Apple's device lacks night mode and can only capture shallow depth of field images of people. Two limitations the Pixel 4a doesn't suffer from. If you want to take the finest photos for the least amount of money, Google's offering should be at the very top of your shirt list. 
you could easily select the Samsung Galaxy S20 as your go-to camera phone and it would be an excellent choice. The S20 produced the best photos of any of the Galaxy S20 models, but the Galaxy Note 20 features the same exact optics including that impressive 64 megapixel telephoto lens, so you'll get the same fantastic camera performance. Even better, the Galaxy Note 20 costs less than the S20 Plus. You don't make a lot of trade-offs to get the lower price. The Note 20 has a plastic body, not a glass one, but it's a pretty stylish design. Better life on the Note 20 could do better, but the phablet is also powered by the Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. Just like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, you also get the powerful S Pen 2. It's the camera though that really impressed me with the Note 20. Samsung's 50,000 peso tablet takes excellent pictures that stand up well against anything the other best camera phones can produce. like Google phones tend to be. The Pixel 5 isn't the most stunning camera phone from a hardware perspective. Mountain View swap out the Pixel 4's telephoto lens for an ultra-wide at the request of critics and users, but that's really the only measurable hardware change in store for the latest Pixel flagship. The rest is as is always the case with Pixel. It's done in software and post, and boy can the Pixel 5 churn out some magical images. The level of detail particularly in mid and low light shooting scenarios on display with this device is class leading. Google's night sight feature puts Apple night mode on iPhone 11 Pro to shame. The iPhone 12 Pro has answered back but that doesn't take away from the fact that Google has raised the stakes again. The biggest knock against the Pixel 5's camera is that you can get it for much cheaper either in single lens configuration in the in the 22,000 pesos Pixel 4a or in the exact same dual lens guys in the 24,000 peso Pixel 4a 5G. That makes the Pixel 5 a relatively poor value compared to the company's other phones. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra narrowly loses out to the iPhone 12 Pro because of Samsung's occasionally wonky post-processing but rest assured this is still an amazing camera phone. The Note 20 Ultra's primary 108 megapixel sensor has been improved with the use of a new dedicated laser autofocus sensor. The 12 megapixel telephoto uses a folded lens designed to achieve 5 times optical power, which obliterates 2 times optical zoom found in the iPhone 12 Pro and can deliver lossless 10 times zoom as well as up to 50 times digital zoom. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra doesn't deliver better photos than Apple's premium iPhone phones in every instances. For example, it smoothens faces in portrait shots and has a tendency to blow out highlights but there isn't much separating the overall image quality of these phones. Plus, the Note 20 Ultra offers versatility thanks to the high megapixel lens and peerless zoom power. But then at 60,000 pesos price tag, you'd expect nothing less. The iPhone 12 Pro takes the top spot of my list for the best camera phones, largely thanks to improvements to the device's primary 12 megapixel lens. With this new wide angle shooter, Apple has increased the aperture of f1.6 and is utilizing to a new 7 element lens design. The upshot of this enhancement is a 27% increase in light reaching the image sensor. Apple has also improved its smart HDR3 technology to recognize scenes so the iPhone 12 Pro can choose exposure parameters differently for shallow depth of field portraits versus natural landscapes. Additionally, night mode is now possible through every one of the phone's four total lenses and can be combined with portrait mode. LiDAR can assist with depth sensing and enhance AR applications and you can record video in Dolby Vision HDR up to 60 frames per second. However, there are still areas in which Apple can improve. The iPhone 12 Pro struggles in low light conditions with no kind of digital super resolution demo seek like most Android phones have makes it quite behind the curve especially compared to devices like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that has massive folded optical cameras that can zoom in at up to 5 times power with zero loss in quality. Overall, I still find the iPhone 12 Pro to be the most complete package camera phone and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will likely improve on that when it releases. That is all for the best camera phones that you could buy today. I will be updating some of my list in the near future. So that you won't miss a thing, click that like button and subscribe.